guys. Hey yo. Hey yo. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome back to another grocery haul. And kind of haul. We're going to start with Hobby Lobby. So, yeah. Okay, Courtney wants to help do this, so I'm going to turn around. We're going to show you, yeah, Hobby Lobby first. Okay, so, starting, um, I got this jewelry storage thing, and it has all these individual things for putting, like, seed beads in. Then Adrian got this one for his fishing stuff. Then I got these red, white, and blue seed beads because I want to make some necklaces with it. And I got this stretch cord because I was out. Then mom got this little chicken thing that says love my pee. This was 66% off in the spring section. This was 50% off. And this says I may, I may rise, but I won't shine. It's like a little. <laughs> I'm going to put that over here somewhere on my coffee bar wall. Okay. So now we're going to walk in here to the kitchen. So starting and we did yeah. Walmart grocery pickup. Water. Water. Um, we got strawberry toast strudels because these are really good for breakfast. We got some uh, romaine hearts. We got four Roma tomatoes. Three avocados. Heavy whipping cream. We got these tropical punch body armors that are really good. Oh, they're so good. I love we them. We got an eight pack. Then we got whole milk. We got Q-tips and cotton balls. Then my mom got four of these Chobani flip no, peanut three. <laughs> oh, three. Three. These are uh, so these good. These peanut butter cup uh, yogurt things. Then we got these mild cheddar Frito uh, cheese For dip. a recipe I'm going to make. Then we got two bag of Takis. Because these kids love Takis. Two of these iced coffee medium roast from Starbucks. My mom loves this. She gets two a week. Yeah. <laughs> then we got these Sunbelt Bakery fudge dip chocolate chip uh, granola bars because she I, loves these. I usually get the great value, but they were out. Okay, so, so over, here. over here we have two of these cream cheese, um, French vanilla. I, I've i been having these coughing spells in the morning. My husband thinks it has something to do with the creamer, so I'm going to try This is the one he's going to use, and this one she's going to make. Yeah. She's going to try it. Because I did vanilla. notice it. I'll get up in the morning, and I won't be coughing until after I drink that. So I don't know. Then we got some cottage cheese, two bag of broccoli florets. Um, so we got we we got these uh, boneless chicken breasts. She got three pound bag, but they substituted it for a five. Yeah, I had so ordered three pounds. pounds yeah, I ordered a three pound bag or two of those, and I guess they were out. They could only give me one, so they gave me the five pound bag for the price of the three pound, which mm -hmm. is good, y'all. So when you do grocery pickup, sometimes that you'll get lucky and that'll happen. <laughs> then we got some garlic Texas toast. We got some two bags of whole milk whole milk mozzarella cheese and parmesan cheese then we got some pepperoncinis i'm pretty sure mom's gonna make mississippi roast with that uh-huh courtney loves it and then they got activia um strawberry and blueberry i don't like these but dad and adrian do i, don't I know. was originally getting strawberry and strawberry banana but they were out so they substituted it with blueberry so i hope they like that okay then we got strawberry jelly we got peanut butter fruity pebbles granulated sugar Cookie crisp cereal, cinnamon toast crunch cereal. Then she got the normal size of frosty mini wheats, but they substituted it for the family size. So that's really and I good. got it for the same price as yeah. the small one. Then we got two of these Prego traditional because that's my mom's uh, favorite spaghetti sauce or whatever. <coughs> then we got some fia, uh, fajita grande flour tortillas. Then we got some sweet Hawaiian rolls, 12 of those. Then we got Two of these, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, is it all juice? Some kind of gravy, <laughs> I don't know. Then we got Taco Bell original taco seasoning mix and ranch rancher oh, taco If you've never tried this, mix. it's really good, I like it. Then we got caramel Hershey syrup because I want to put it in like coffee and stuff. Then we got some grated Parmesan cheese. These Taster Choice house blend coffees because dad likes these. He adds it in with his regular coffee. <laughs> Um, some ziti noodles and some Velveeta shells and cheese. Some lasagna noodles. Oh, and then I'm going to show y'all. This was I ordered off of Walmart.com, y'all. This is something I bought myself for my birthday. Isn't this the cutest thing? It's got the little rack, and then we have a chicken, a cow, a piggy, a, piggy, a cow, girl hat, boy, whatever. Boots. Some boots and another cow. Yep. I love it. So, I just thought I'd show you that. You can order it. I don't you, think it's available in are stores. Are you actually going to use the plate or are you just going to use it for decoration? I'm going to use them maybe when I make a dessert one day or something. Okay, so that was the grocery haul. 
Hope y'all enjoyed it. Yes. I love um, a hot mess because we've been outside and it's so hot. It says it's 107. So make sure y'all make sure y'all subscribe, like, and click the bell so you'll get notifications. And also, I'm gonna have a link down below. So if you want to try the Walmart grocery pickup, I'll have a link down there. So yeah, go on the link down below. All right. So Thank y'all. Ha have a great day. Bye. Bye. Hey y'all. Me and Adrian are here. We're gonna do a oh, different my hair kind of looks video. Bad. It looks very cute. He's kind of growing his hair out. But anyways, we're doing a different kind of video today. We. We're sent a chicken coop, and I'm so excited. The company Ava Tuvin sent us this chicken coop to try out. Yeah. So, me and Adrian are gonna put this together, I'm, and I'm, I'm gonna put it together. we're gonna give y'all uh, y'all our opinion on um, this chicken coop. We're gonna put some chickens in it, and yeah. So, I hope that y'all will enjoy it, and also we will show y'all how our chickens look now and our turkeys. So, I'll kind of give you a tour of that. Also. Of the farm. Of the farm. Have so. y'all, if y'all are new, y'all should, we should probably show y'all the cows. And, <clears throat> safety first, you have to be careful. Yeah. Don't, don't use this if you're a child. I am a country child. Okay, y'all, here is the packaging that um, the chicken coop came in. It's in two pieces. It was packaged very well. And the one that we got is the Ava Tuvin Air 27 chicken tractor slash chicken house and this will hold two to four hens the inner space is 23.03 square feet so me and adrian decided to unbox everything and lay it out all over the front yard so all the pieces are kind of spread out and then we got the instructions and started reading through those and it was very easy to follow. My 12 year old did all of the putting together. I just kind of helped him uh, make sure he was following along and I helped hold things together and stuff. A, we're looking for that, which is that one. Yes. B is the one, the I believe right indoor. here, that's B. And then we need C and D. I told C, you right here, those things. I said we needed those. Oh, okay, so those two, C and D, okay. C, told you. All right. C, get it, C. Okay, y'all, I should have showed y'all, but it had these little, there's little wooden dowels on each piece to kind of hold them together while you're screwing it in. And we just used a regular screwdriver um, there aren't, some places there's little holes where you can see where the screws go, but basically the wood is pretty soft, not like extremely soft, but it's soft enough that you can screw it in with a screwdriver. And so Adrian is doing all that. Like I said, I'm just holding it and kind of helping him and he's done a pretty good job. And y'all, this company, Ava Tuvin, makes chicken coops. They make hutches for rabbits, um, for birds. I've seen things for cats, for dogs. So be sure to go check them out after you watch this video. They have so many things for your, for your animals. Y'all, it was actually like in the 80s this evening that we're working. Um, it had rained on this day, and so but it had kind of already dried up. As you can see, we're setting on the ground, but it cooled off, so it was really nice. So we're just out here putting this together, and I really like how this, um, and I'll show you all the features, but how it has a pull-out drawer underneath their roost, so it's really gonna be easy for cleaning. And there's plenty of um, access areas, like doors and things, to get into the coop, into the run for cleaning and stuff like that. One of the areas probably that I would say we had the most trouble in was this little um, ramp for the chickens. Um, it wasn't real specific on where it should go and there is a piece that connects to the bottom to hold that so when you're moving it. And we just had some trouble with that. Um, but I think 
you just we just needed to move it over a little and we did that off camera and fixed it but that was probably one of the only places that we had trouble you just have to be careful um on the one side we were just on to make sure you have it turned the right way because we didn't <laughs> and we were like where's the drill hose for this one part well it was at the top because it looked the same top or bottom so you might just want to look and make sure that everything is in the right spot <laughs> I know we have this sped up kind of fast, but Stormy came over to get some love. She was enjoying us being out here in the front yard. She just laid down on top of all the screws <laughs> and was getting love. But here's Adrian putting on the wheels for the tractor part um, so that we can move it around the yard. And I'm very excited about that. my camera died the other night so I really didn't get to show you all this chicken coop right now we don't have any chickens in it um, I did have a little video where I was kind of showing some chickens in it but it's not gonna stay in this spot we're gonna have it I'm not sure somewhere in a shade <laughs> but this one can be moved around because it's a chicken tractor so it has the wheels here and on this end down here is the handle just lift it up and go I really like this one because it has so many different ways to open up and look in here. You can open up here. Um, it has over here. It's like a spring-loaded type thing. You can open it up here to get in and they can be up underneath there. This right here. Sorry, it's hard to do stuff sometimes one-handed. But that's what shuts that and then opens it and then it just kind of there bends down but we also have this so we can get it underneath there if we need to and it's like spring loaded same with this one and then this opens up here we have two nesting boxes and we also have this right here that pulls out underneath the roosting bars so that we can clean it oh and there is right up here you can open this for more ventilation and then has a little roof and has this plastic piece here that keeps rain out and it has a, a little locking device and we will see how good all this works we may have to change them but for now if i can just get one-handed and do it i was turning i was moving it the wrong way so and then so you can open and get the eggs out and my plan is to get some bantams the they're smaller chickens so that is my plan i want to get this says it is for two to four chickens. So I might get, I'm thinking I'm gonna get four bantam chicks and raise them up and this will be their home. So this will be like my little special. 
chicken coop for the little miniature smaller chickens and then in the big coop which we have nesting boxes we're going to put some in and we're going to build a big roost but for now we have the meat chickens and there's so many of them that we don't have the room for the roost or whatever um but when we get laying chickens we will have a roost and we'll have laying boxes and i'm very excited for that so yep that's just i'll show you all the chickens and thank you again to Ava Tuvin, if I'm saying it right, for sending us this coop. I'm hoping later there's an expansion that you can add onto the end over here to make the coop or to make the run bigger. So that is my goal is to add on and make it bigger. So if Ava Tuvin would like me to review that, I'll sure take it. <laughs> but anyways, um, for the price point, I think it's really worth it. It's really cute, and it was very easy, like you saw, to put together. My 12-year-old did most of the work. I just kind of helped and just made sure that we were doing the instructions the way it said. So, anyways. Hey, y'all, trying to get y'all, trying to get myself in focus. I am outside, and it is hot. I wanted to show y'all we redid some stuff on the turkeys pen. We moved it. And I just looked over and somehow they knocked over this bucket. They hear me talking. But I've got some stuff for them. I've got some lettuce and some cucumbers that had set in the refrigerator for too long. Um, but I think they'll like them. So, I'm going to take y'all out here and we're going to feed them and I'll show y'all. And there's Stormy. Hey, Stormy. Come on. No, no. Let's go. Oops. Hi, turkeys. Hey, babies. Stormy's going to get to... They will come after her now. They're not scared of her. They will come and holler at her sometime. Stormy, be nice. How in the world did y'all knock your water over? What are y'all doing that for? They're like, ooh, you got me something. Ooh. Hi, babies. Look. Look what I got. Ooh, is that good? Is that good stuff? Oh, They're enjoying it, but my husband and the boys built, it's like, well, originally we had more space in between these, but for some reason, I don't know, they didn't seem to like it, so we put them, we put them closer together, so it's more like a big ramp that they can walk up. Oh, there's a bug. Sorry, y'all, there was a bug. <clears throat> but have their food over here they have their little roosting area that they liked they love going underneath it and yeah they're having they're loving it are y'all loving it say yes <laughs> they're getting so big but they do have water over here someone was saying how they have dirty water this water over here i just filled up this morning and it looks horrible because they like to get in it and st they step over in it with their feet and stuff but they do have this water over here that they just peck at this and get fresh clean water and i keep their water all clean and every morning this one is clean this is just and it's like only 2 30 so i did this at like 8 30 this morning nine o'clock something like that hi babies how are y'all you just love everything you're getting all your good good snacks oh they're so sweet y'all i'm trying to talk my husband into letting me keep a few for pets <laughs> oh, but we'll see yeah are y'all happy they're happy and they don't even pay attention to stormy anymore that's why Stormy's not really doing much. But when she does get to going, they'll come chasing up to her. And then she starts barking because she's like, what? But anyways, now we're going to go see the chickens. Okay. Now we are headed over. Oh, that's weird. I was wondering what this red thing is. And the water, and I believe it's a balloon. Someone must have sent a balloon up into the sky. <laughs> it wasn't from here because we don't have any balloons like that. But heading over here we did get a little rain last week but we definitely need more so let's go see my little raptors 
They may not be all outside when it's hot sometime, but we have done some work, but we're planning to do more. Hi, babies. Hi. We built a little bit of a shade right here, but my husband's gonna, eventually we're gonna make this whole thing into a big run, but. Babies, come. Come on. I got you something. Look at them running. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can. Oh. <laughs> They're gonna come running now. Babies, come on. <laughs> we have some that all they wanna do is sit inside, but then we have some others and they're, they're actually the smaller chickens. The bigger chickens are inside because they're so fat. All they wanna do is sit in, by the feeders, but um, we do take away their feeders at night because these chickens will eat nonstop if you let them. So yeah. But they like to come out here, especially in the evening and in the mornings. Um, sometimes when it gets in the heat of the day, um, they will stay, stay inside more. We have two big fans. One of our fans went out, but we got another big fan. So they stay pretty, pretty cool. But anyways, there's those babies. The ones that will come out. 